Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last part, we finished off Olympus Coliseum and Deep Space for the last time. And now we are on to Neverland. Usually it's One World and then Neverland. But... I mean, you know... I finished off uh, Radiant Garden and Disney Town in the same episode, so it's a little different. <clears throat> At any rate, um, I don't know why I left the menu. <clears throat> Let's see, I don't have it on this deck right here, but I did do more grinding. I did gain one level after uh, competing in more of the uh, Mirage Arena because I thought I would need the level, and I kind of did in a way. But I also got all these illusions. These are from completing those... Uh, those unversed challenges where you have to defeat an unversed or do some sort of mini game this from doing like a few of them and i believe you turn into unversed with these but i've never used them and i don't feel like using them but i might give them a shot later on anyways as you can see i got a couple uh new things such as mega flare which is the clearest definition of a screen nuke um, anybody can actually use this um, skill. <clears throat> the thing is, is that you have to make it. You cannot buy it by the Moogle. Like, even after you make it, he won't sell it. So you have to make your own. Um, I have Glacier, which is also a bit like a screen nuke, but with ice. It freezes enemies and then knocks them away. I have a whole bunch of arrows and stuff. Thunders, blizzards, fires, all these binding and confusion strikes. I've done a lot. But I think I'm done leveling up skills, so... There's not going to be any need for a grind unless I'm doing it in the Mirage Arena, or if I want to get something else. At this point, I just want to unlock Action Command, because there's a certain thing I want to get, and I might be able to get it here, if not, probably after. Uh, also, depending on how fast this goes, we might actually finish Aqua's story here. So, without too much delay... Over there! I'm gonna be the leader! Oh. We're so close. Too bad, man. Tough break. Shh, but man. No buts. You know the rules. The first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader. And that's you. Leader? Of the expedition. Uh, we're going on a treasure hunt. And that's our map you got. What do you mean? I never said girls can't be part of the gang. Come on, Tink. The more the merrier. I'm sorry, but I have something else I need to take care of. Here, you keep it. Too bad. But rules are rules. I guess we'll just have to call off the treasure hunt. No! <sighs> All right, you win. I'll join you for one expedition. Whoopee! As far as I can tell, we're here. And this mark here is where we'll find the treasure. Enough pointing. Come on, let's go. Wait a second. We still don't even know our leader's name. I'm Peter Pan. The jealous one over here is Tinkerbell. And you are... Aqua. So you're Aqua. Huh? Now, first stop, Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't like freak her out that he's flying, considering that she can fly from time to time too. I don't think it freaks anyone out now that I think about it. Also, what the hell is up with Tinkerbell being a jealous bitch all the time? Every time there's like another female, she just starts getting really pissed off. I'm not an expert on Peter Pan, but if I remember correctly, um, 
she actually put the girl that gets brought to Neverland, Wendy, like into situations that could kill her, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, is she really, uh, so jealous she's willing to kill for it? It's just kind of odd. I mean, I like my Yandere women, but I don't think Tinkerbell would classify as one. If anything, she's just very malicious. I guess there could be an argument that all Yandere's are malicious, but I don't know. It's not something that I don't see much of a connection with her and, you know, Yandere's. Mainly because I don't ever see her talk. I think in her own movie she talks. Um, my cousin used to watch her movies or something like that. So I think she talked there, but that's all I recall. I don't recall her like speaking in any other form. But she does let me know. Instead of just flying around and giving off pouty faces like a like a two-year-old throwing a tantrum. Okay, so I don't have to go this way. I'm not gonna complain about uh, navigating through Kingdom Hearts games, mainly because, uh... One, I don't mind the exploration of... Oh, okay, I'm going inside. Mainly because I don't mind the exploration for one thing, but the other thing is... Okay, wait. I don't mind the exp exploration. I don't mind it because um, the worlds are small in this game, but... No, that's about it. There's no butt after that. worlds in here are short, and you do get rewarded for exploring here and there. The inner part of me wants to complain though, because it's like, why can't I have a guy arrow? But then, I don't know, I guess the game would probably be holding your hand a little too much. I mean, not that it's really holding your hand, but... Actually, it's not really holding your hand at all. You just kind of go with the flow with it. I don't know what I'm saying. Also, one other thing I wanted to bring up. Isn't Aqua technically an adult? And shouldn't they like be burning her at the stake or something? Because they hate adults or something like that? I have no idea. I have you now, Peter Pan. Today's the day I shall be rid of you forever. I'm busy right now, Hook. We're on an expedition. I just like to imagine that Aqua's getting the tour of uh, Skull Island or Neverland or whatever, and she just sees Huggins like, what the hell? Like, where am I? And who are all these characters that have nothing better to do? Can't I show you up some other day? You'll show me up now. You can give back me treasure. Who's that? Ah, oh, that's just Captain Hook. He's a two-bit pirate codfish. It's like, he's just the neighborhood old cranky dude. I'll leave you into two bits, boy! It's me! Oh, that was the captain's signal! Fire! Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. ah! We're sitting ducks out here! Run! Where are all the stickers? I do want to. Oh, there's one. Can I make it? No, I can't. Okay, but maybe I can make it now. There we go. I don't think I can go over here, but I'll try. Well, got these guys. Yeah, 
I mind shield at level two? Don't I have a uh, Mega Flare on here? I thought I did. I'll show it off later if I haven't. I want to say I did, but I don't think I did. I think I got it during my time at the Mirage Arena. It's a very good skill, and I can see why the Moogle doesn't want to sell it. It's too powerful for mere mortals. I just didn't feel like doing it. Ow! There we are. What is it? The mark on the map points all the way up there. Ah, oh, relax. A little pixie dust and we'll be there in a jiffy. But we've never had to fly that high before. What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? You guys were dodging cannonballs exploding bigger than any Fyraja I could cast. And now you guys are worried about falling from a great height when you can fly. Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Man yeah, don't get involved with our domestic dispute. <laughs> Only the bravest of the brave can claim that treasure. Yeah, we know. Tink, if you would. We haven't got all day. Jeez, Pan. Just Here slaving away, everybody. <laughs> now, seriously, we haven't got all day. Pan, what the hell do you have planned for the rest of the day? I would like to know that. What does the great Peter Pan have to do that's so important that he has to hasten up a treasure hunt? On a map that he probably left there just for the kids to find, because he, I don't know, he's a sadist. Crazy bastard. I would say he needs to grow up, but that's the point of Neverland. You don't grow up. Is this the way to go? I don't want to go the way to go. I just want to... Flying treasure. Ooh, another Fyraja. Neat. You can probably make fish in Fyraja or something else. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I thought I could go into the waterfall. There's another chest. I think I went a decent amount. I feel like I can make it right there. I'm just kind of observing the area. I think if I fall here, I uh, go down a level. Oh, we're about to find out. Yep. Because you don't have bottomless pits in Kingdom Hearts, from what I can tell. Well, at least I'm getting all these treasure chests. Pretty sure I'm gonna need a couple more, though. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's got a lot of interesting set pieces here and there, but... What's the point if the enemy is just gonna fall off? I don't need to do any more than that. This is definitely a place that you explore, not, uh, combat it. Because look at all this. This is neat. 
and then it's ruined when I fail and fall down the waterfall. But whatever. Thunder! Freeze! Thunder! Hey, aren't we back where we started? Mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me, that's certainly not nothing. You know, I had you all wrong. You were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. Yeah, of course I was. You're too late, Peter mm -hmm. Pan. I'll be taking what's mine now. It's Hook! It's me. Secure me treasure. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! What is it now? <laughs> Captain, it's the treasure. It's been... been... Spit it out, you idiot! Hot fish! It's all junk! What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook. What, what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost it at all. You what? You scurvy brats have crossed me for the last time. Hmm? What's that? That sound? Not you again. No, get away from me. It's me. Do something. I'm pretty sure we're higher, like, in a higher plane of elevation, so... Does that mean that the... Is it an alligator or a crocodile? Whatever it is, did it climb up the waterfall or is there a way to get up here normally? Sneak! Wait, Captain! <laughs> is this? Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keepsake or something. But don't worry about him. He said he would be all right without it. And then he promised to visit us again with even better treasures. Maybe enough to fill a hundred treasure chests. Then? He was here. <laughs> and someone else. What's the matter? It's nothing. Best that you stay here. Obtain double flight. Use double flight to jump twice for extra height. Basically double jump. Which is what I've been waiting for for a very long time. And I don't know why I'm going to melt command. Seeker mine. And I got EXP chance. I wasn't looking at uh what else I can make. I probably could have gotten Thunder Screen, actually. I'm sad now. Do I have any other mines? I do, but it's not leveled up. That's okay. I think I'm going to stick with this, and let's head on over to our boss fight. Be sure to save just in case. So, have a good time hanging out with the kitties? How'd you get that? I think that kid's outgrown such a childish toy. I like to imagine that as soon as she started running to the Indian camp, he jumped everyone, just beat the crap out of them before uh, getting the wooden key blade. <clears throat> I think it's just more uh, satisfying to think that Peter Pan got the shit beaten out of him just a bit because he's kind of a dick. The other kids, I'm expecting them to just run. If you ask my opinion. Uh, uh, well, shit. 
just like I've outgrown my need for you. You freak! Vanitas, do you remember what happened last time, boy? Apparently you don't, and you need a refresher. Watch, she's gonna kick my ass now. No, you're too slow. Come on, Benitas, you can do better than this. I'm giving you free hit. Come on. Entertain me. I know I'm talking trash, I don't care. And we learn Ghost Drive, my favorite drive out of all of them. Or command style. Garbage. She's exhausted because I took too many hits without healing. I've done it. He's finally finished. Ben. Tara. You can rest easy. Beautiful. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? I was taking a nap. I'm fine. Oh no! Look at Ben's treasure! It's okay, Peter. Whatever it is that binds us together isn't gonna break so easily. And that's our real treasure. I think Ventus knew that. That's why he left this behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You, and Ventus, and Tara, was it? One day, you should all come back. I'd like that. Now bring Neverland to Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm trying to create happy endings. Because if you pay attention to how things were in the last two stories, it did not end well. We're ready for the storm that's coming. Hey, wait up! 
Too slow, Sora. See you at the finish line. Why doesn't she pick any of the fruit? special enough hey you two mind telling me your names I'm Sora and you Riku someone has already passed this boy the power was it Tara hmm. Sora do you like Riku of course I like him he's my best friend Friend zoned. Good. So then, if something happens and Riku is about to get lost, or say he starts wandering down a dark path alone, you make sure to stay with him and keep him safe. That's your job, Sora, and I'm counting on you to do it, okay? That's a lot to put on a kid's shoulder for someone you just met. You don't even introduce yourself, Aqua. Come on. Sora and Rico are like, man, we're just meeting a whole bunch of weird people around here. I think we should stop coming here. At least until we're older. One keyblade is enough for any friendship. I learned it the hard way. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children. Tara, please tell me what's to become of us. And I obtained Stormfall, a well-balanced Keyblade that provides an extra boost to all of your stats. Yet they gave me the other Keyblade from Neverland. It's like, why? Is that Mickey? How'd this happen? Hmm. Must be your suit. Don't worry, I'll take you back to him. Hopeful heart. Let's see, I could end the episode off of here and then do uh, the Keyblade Graveyard, but I think that's going to be even shorter because. It's the same just like any other, um, just like the other times we've been there, because we're heading there next. That's no secret. So I think we are going to finish it off here. I'm only going to show off a bit of the Keyblade Graveyard because the main meat of things is the boss fight. Okay, so real quick, I want to go ahead and uh, equip the Keyblades that I plan to use. Let's see. Pixie Petal weakens my strength, but it gives me outstanding magic. And I've never used Pixie Petal because it was never beneficial until now. And then there's Stormfall, which doesn't give me as much magic, but it boosts my attack just a bit. I wish it would be like Rainfell because, you know, 
it would be equal. So I think we're gonna go with Pixie Petal. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. We'll be getting other Keyblades later. Um, let's see. Oh, right. Because we're heading to the Keyblade Graveyard, I might as well go ahead and take this off. Well, actually, I'm going to keep it on until we actually get there because I believe we are going to be walking around in here and there is the chance of running into Unversed. So, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and take care of the pests out here. And also get the chest. Take care of pests and get all the chests. I didn't mean for it to rhyme, but so what? Wow, I'm stocked on shimmering crystals. Are you kidding me? Fur, get off of my LP. Oh, magic hour. Neat. Magic hour is okay. And I saw another 99 somewhere. All right. Zero Graviga and Lucky Strike. I'm wasting time. There's plenty of cutscenes to go around. There we are. King Mickey. King Mickey. Praise the him. Stars bring me grave news. Master Ericus's star has blinked out. I am afraid that means he has been struck down. Uh, the master? But who is responsible? Master Xehanort and Terra. No! Oh. That's absurd! Terra would never! I hope with all my heart that you are right about your friend. There are some things even the stars cannot tell me. Where is he? Where can I find Terra? Terra's heart is leading him to the ancient Keyblade Graveyard, where wielders of those weapons once waged war. All right. I have to go after him and see if it's true. Be on your guard. Just be safe. I'll find a way to get you out of this. And we forged a D link with Donald and Goofy. And got Xanote's report for. Now we're heading off to the Keyblade Graveyard. 
I would say why didn't Aqua just go meet Master Yen Sid so she could find Terra and all of them before it was like too late and all, but I guess it never crossed her mind. Either way, um, I'm here to turn off zero EXP. Three of us will always be one. I'm pretty sure that would have an even more meaning if I equip Stormfall, but whatever. Keyblade Graveyard for the last time. And pretty much the layout is the same as it always been so I'm going to show off the two unique uh, or I think it's actually three unique uh, typhoon um, gauntlets but otherwise I'm just going to go ahead and skip most of this that and the chest I'm gonna show off like right here because there's no point otherwise oh yeah one thing I haven't shown off double jump there you go you just press jump twice so if you're gonna go for uh, everything you need to go and uh, do like you know backtracking and getting stuff like this which you normally couldn't get now's your time to do it although you won't be locked out of it otherwise I mean you know you can always do it anytime you want I'm going to do it later I just want to make sure I have everything I want. Which I do, but you know. Alright, let's do this. For the last time. Get it. There we go. doing this three times there's not much you can say on it <sighs> you know for big guys you really are kind of hard to hit even with the shot lock it, it's like I can't even get you on the first hit but whatever um, one of the abilities I actually have that I don't think I've talked about is my experience uh, walk mega ether Basically, every time I do a cartwheel or just walk in general, I gain one bit of experience. 
one cartwheel is the equivalent to three experience. So imagine how many times I'm doing that. Quite a bit. Where is the last one? There you are. Kiraja went to level 4, so that's always neat. Alright, let's deal with these last few. Oh, I got Ghost Drive. Sweet! Oh yeah, that's right, my um... My cartwheel becomes a teleport. Fire. I forgot all about that. And pretty much all of my regular attacks become Time Splicer. Just without the stop. Too bad it goes away after. No, not yet. Now you can take me. I think this is the last one that's unique. Should do it with all the unique tornadoes. So, if that's the case, I will see you all at the end of all this. And then I'll get the rest of the treasure chest and then on to our final bosses. And that takes care of all of them. So, let's go ahead and round up these chests. Maybe that was it. Was that it? To prepare. I'm gonna sell all this crap to the Moogle real quick. Let's see, I'm gonna keep Lightning Ray as my shot lock. And let's see, double flight. Fortunately, I don't have the barrier I want, but that's okay. <clears throat> Get that, uh sticker up here, if I can. Come on now. Right here. There we go. Might as well put that on while I'm at it. Alright. No more games. Except while I'm playing the game. Time to end Aqua's playthrough. 
and this cutscene pretty much plays the same as it always has, so there's no point showing it. There's still no reason that he summons this. Like, from what I can tell, it doesn't do anything for anybody other than just make uh, some nice scenery. How about you leave the popsicle with me? From what I can tell, this cutscene plays exactly the same as it did in a vent playthrough, but I'm going to go ahead and just show it off anyways. So, you can go have your little fight with Terra. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, his eyes changed. They used to be brown. You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terrible proof to you, he's stronger. Aqua. That's got me some really painful frostbite he's suffering through. All right, round two of Bray. Only this time, I'm much more powerful. Because I'm not Terra. That being said, I'm already losing. Seeker mines next to him. Okay, I can't block those. Forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What? Oh, the ears are pointy too. Uh, 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 Cast Fire on him. That's some pretty flexible armor. 
because I'm pretty sure it's hard to like sit up in a full like suit of armor because of the plates. I know that like there's openings in the joints and stuff, but even then, I don't know if uh, a full plate would let you, you know, move around as if you were wearing regular clothing. Feel free to correct me on that, though. Oh, thank goodness. Fen! You're safe! Fen! Was he always wearing his armor in this scene? Because if I remember correctly, in the PSP version, he had Vanitas' suit on. I mean, I know he's always had the... The giant keyblade, which is always jarring, and why Aqua doesn't ask, I don't know, but hmm, I have to relook at that actually. Oh. He got the Ultima weapon. <laughs> Technically, it is. Correct. I am not Ventus. Uh, technically, His you heart are. Has become a part of mine now. <gasps> this keyblade will open a door, one that leads to all worlds. Then, keyblade-bearing warriors will flock here from each and every one of them to battle for the light within Kingdom Hearts. Is that why Xehanort summoned Kingdom Hearts here? So that once the Keyblade's forged and he gains his new body, he plans on using that as a gateway to open Kingdom Hearts. Basically just bring it ahead of time, thinking that no plan would fail at all. And just like the legend says, the Keyblade War will begin! Shut up! I'm sick of your nonsense. Give Ben his heart back. Time for the true final boss, which is Venetus. And his keyblade isn't actually shattered or chipped. And I have Mickey to deal with. I'm not teaming up with you, Mickey. We already had a bad relationship in Ben's playthrough. Ah. Phineas, this is the third time and you have to use Ben in order to get a power boost. This pretty much sums up your usefulness, Mickey, because I do not need you. But I will indulge if necessary. Too slow. Too slow. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we're going so fast at hitting each other on that uh, shot lock right there. It's like a Dragon Ball Z fight. Too bad the camera can't keep up. What's wrong? Giving up already? Just wasting your energy. 
Wrong, I don't have a magic meter in this game. What? There we go. And then everyone died. The end. And trophy and profiler. I believe that's for getting all the Xehanort reports. And you're not dead either. The Mickey found you and Ventus drifting in the lanes between and brought you back to me to receive proper care. <sighs> I am sorry, but there was no sign of terror. I see. <sighs> Ven. Ventus. The boy's heart is sleeping. When will he wake? I could not say. It is almost as though his heart has left. Should it return, he may very well wake. Should it not, then he may sleep like this for all eternity. No. I'll keep him safe until he wakes forever if I have to I will tell you what your friend needs right now it is not your protection he needs you to believe you see Ventus's heart hangs in the balance it sleeps in the place between light and darkness from all I can perceive, that means he will be looking for a friend, one who believes in him, to show him the way home. Just as long as you love him, then Ventus will be able to find you when he wakes. He can follow that love back to where he belongs. The Realm of Light. Ah. Don't you worry, Aqua. I believe in Ben, too. Gosh, he's been as good a friend to me as anybody. And if both you and me believe in him with all our hearts, then he'll have two lights to follow instead of one. <laughs> Three lights. Tara. But Tara's gone. Maybe for good. Mm-mm. I think... I know how to find him. And with that, that concludes Aqua's playthrough. Or does it? Congratulations! You have unlocked the final episode. To play, you first need to create a special save data.
Yeah, we're going a little bit into overtime with this one. <clears throat> First off, I want to show off the timeline so I can finally get that uh, that question answered. Also, you have earned the Power Walker Trophy for taking 99,999 steps. And you have earned the Keyslinger Trophy for taking out 9,999 unversed. And you have earned the In the Money Trophy for amassing 33,333 money. And all the secret reports are here, which I'll be reading in the next part. Okay, there's trophies. Timeline, that's what I meant to view. Okay, so they all start off there. I see, look how much Aqua takes in terms of getting her adventure started. By that point, Terra has already finished um, Enchanted Dominion and Dwarf Woodlands. Meanwhile, Ventus, like, begins his part way through with uh, Terra's, and then he goes to Castle of Dreams. Then Terra goes to Castle of Dreams, and then Aqua's finally starts up at Castle of Dreams. Then she goes to the Dwarf Woodlands, and then she meets up with Ven at Enchanted Dominion, and yeah. When you beat the game, you get a timeline of how everybody goes through their adventure. Initially, this is how I actually wanted to do um, this playthrough. I wanted to start off with um, the Land of Departure, but then um, play through as Terra up until Dwarf Woodlands, then switch over to Ventus, and then kind of mix the timeline all together up into the ending with the Keyblade Graveyard. But I didn't know everything by heart, and that's a lot of managing just to get um, everything in a proper order. Here we have the theater where we can look at uh, all cutscenes from each character, including these secret ones, which I may or may not show off. Game stats, you already seen the trophies, and the secret reports. I'll be trying to 100% complete as much as I can, no promises. Because I'm not that big uh, on where everything is and what to do for everything. Also, I don't really want to do all the mini games. I am trying to do all the unverse challenges, but um, <laughs> that would almost conclude this part. But there is one thing I would like to do before concluding this episode and let's show off the uh the plot for this final episode because this final episode technically isn't very long it's it initially was just a cutscene and a boss fight and then the ending but in final mix they added something new <clears throat> like and like more to the end so you actually get to play a level that you haven't played before I've never played it before, so it'll be my first time. This is the only part that will actually be blind, minus the boss fight um, before it. But I want to show off the cutscene and then I'm going to end the part because in the next part, I plan on doing the Mirage Arena. <clears throat> and then maybe that boss. We'll find out, but let's go ahead and conclude this part with that cutscene I mentioned. I believe it's a little meaty, so bear with me. Or bear with the part. You know what I mean. It should also be noted that this is pretty much a new game plus-ish thing, and this is also the reason why I chose to play as Aqua last, because with her playstyle fresh in my mind, <clears throat> um, I'll be able to adapt to what I have to face later on. Instead of playing as her first and then playing as her again, like after so much time has passed and by playing two different characters that play pretty different for the most part. Ven needs a safe place. So yeah, Ven's sleeping, Terra's gone, Aqua's the only one that's, uh, pretty much conscious, or able to do things. 
It would be interesting to play as Mickey, though. That's where you want to go. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Tara back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. <laughs> He's not as weak as you think. Yes? Yeah. Now that you are a master, there is one secret in particular you must know. Should anything happen to me, and you find the Legion of Darkness at our doorstep, I ask that you take my Keyblade and use it to lock this land away. What? Generations of Keyblade Masters have been charged with keeping this land safe. Light and darkness exist in balance here, and there are those who would abuse such neutral ground. This is why our predecessors devised a certain trick. Just use the key, and this land will be transformed. From that day forward, all who visit this land will be lost to oblivion. None ever able to solve the mystery. None, Aqua. Except you. I know it's a lonely place, but you'll be safe. Tara and I will be back to wake you up before you know it. Put an end to me. Tara, tell me where to find you.
and we earn Bright Crest, a keyblade with long reach that provides an outstanding boost in magic. It also makes it easier to land critical hits and deals higher damage when you do. And I think it even has your Wayfinder in it. And that's where Terra is. Giant pimple over... <clears throat> uh, over Radiant Garden, the Realm of Light, and a combat level of 10, jeez. But uh, yeah, you can go to all your worlds, just as you could before, and they have giant combat levels. At least bigger than they were before. So you can grind if you need to. I recommend making a Mega Flare. Uh, to make it, I believe you need Fish and Fyraja and Crawling Fire. Then melt those two and you get uh, Mega Flare. Really good move. You'll see it in the next part when I'm doing all these Mirage Arena missions. So I'll be doing these and trying to get as much to the max as I can. And then afterwards, we are going to end this. Well, we would end this, but we're not really. Because after I deal with all the story stuff, we have secret boss fights. Which I think I can do right now, but I'm going to wait until I actually complete this. So next time on Purple Plays... Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix will finally be looking at the Mirage Arena. If I do manage to make time, I will be facing off against uh, this little distraction right here because I really would like to fight it now. I remember the fight so vividly and it's my favorite boss fight because of the character I get to be. At any rate, I'll see you guys next time.